Hi everyone, Aryan here and today we are going to create this cool blog section here by using WordPress of course and Bricks Builder. Check the description of this video to know more about my setup. So let's start right away. Um, first thing, I will refresh my page. Okay. First of all, of course, section, container, and here I will go on elements. I will add um, heading and a basic text. Then I would copy uh, this paste it here and style I'm going to change the style typography font size right click I will do XXL I'm using automatic CSS and uh, of course then uh, text align center and okay so I will do the same thing for this other text here before that I would change this to section 04 and here I would change the text with this lorem ipsum here and just content and replace this and of course go back on style typography font size you can keep the default font size or uh, set it up and then text align center and that's all then I will click on container and with the container selected go on content and just say center and now everything is centered great so now I'm going to click on the section and plus and add a new container. So I have this, sometimes you have this bug where the elements are not added into the section, but you can just drag and drop it in here. I will save this and hard refresh the page just because I want to make sure it doesn't happen again. So open up the section again. Uh, we have the two container, right? Now I click on section and just add a row gap. Um, I have the content container gap I would use in my case. For automatic CSS, you can check the description of this video to know more about how to use it. Anyway, it's very easy. Um, okay, so now I'm going to click on this container here. And by, by uh, having the container selected, display, read and you go with three columns okay I go with right click and three columns and now I can also add a gap here right click and just use M as a gap and let me check how we set it up so we have an image here we have the title and the avatar that looks really close together we have this element and then we have this element okay let's start right away so I would start by selecting of course the container going on plus button and say block now the block is inside of the container and I will call this uh, postcard4 okay with postcard4 selected plus button and I would select image and then I would also add um, a div plus button choose div this would be called outdoor wrapper with outdoor wrapper selected I would click on plus button again and I would add another div inside of it I would duplicate this and the first one I would call it um, let's say let's call it the wrapper okay and on auto wrapper I would name this differently because I I made other tutorials with the same class name uh, I, I will try to keep it in this way and see if there is no conflicts otherwise I need to rename it Anyway, for now we keep it like that. Um, okay, auto wrapper, avatar wrapper, into avatar wrapper, I would go plus button and just add an image. Let me search the image. And I will call this avatar image. Then auto info wrapper. This would be called in a different way, uh, sorry, um, with outdoor info wrapper selected, you need to go on plus button and just add two basic text. And I would call the first one outdoor name. And this one would be outdoor description or whatever. 
once done that check here okay we ha we forgot the title and then we have a description and then we have the read more button okay so let me close this up okay so after the image I have a title so select the image plus button and just add heading and now the heading is just below the image right uh, this image will be called also uh, post for thumb okay and we have then the heading and we have the auto wrapper that we are going to style in a moment and then we have some text and the read more button okay so postcard for select it and plus button search for basic text okay and then search for button okay basic text is like this I would call it host text or excerpt maybe it's better the button read more okay once we have everything set it up so all the content is actually inside of it we can bam it before doing that let me just add the correct content otherwise uh, it's not really clear to me what's going on so this is the thing this is the image uh, this is the outer info wrapper outer name I'm going to change the outer name with this and then outer description it's actually not a description but it's a date now I will rename this so I will call this outer po no sorry post date okay and then post excerpt of course I'm going to get the lorem ipsum that it's here and oops and then the I am a button, I will call it read more. Okay, so the structure is set it up. Now I need to click on postcard 4 and basically click on BAM. This is available only by using automatic CSS, otherwise you need to basically add your classes manually to each of the elements. Okay, so I'm going to click BAM here and as you can see we have all our elements here and I would, uh, I would uh, apply the classes like this uh, perfect so um, now what we need to do is to actually set up the images and whatever and the styling so the first thing I would go is to set up the images so first thing without activating the class I would just go and click on the image and say okay I want this as an image okay then the avatar here uh, I would select the image of an avatar okay and and yeah so now we can start styling everything correctly so the first thing to style is actually this one right is the image and as you can see it has some borders here so I click here and click on the class now and of course you can you know HTML tag figure you can uh, leave the rest as it is go on style and here on style I would go on border border here and just add some radius you can click here uh, to make it all sides and just add some border radius uh, let me check I will go with M for example and as you can see now we have the border radius great next thing to do is the title so the title is a lot smaller so I'm going to click here and then I'm going to go on typography font size and I would go with something like M and then we have this text here and this text here and this avatar here so the avatar first of all you need to click on it and then activate this go on content make sure that speak creator is one slash one HTML tag is figure and then um, we can go on style and just go on layout and tell him to have a 2EM width and then go on border border here and on the border um, I'm going to click radius and then here I would use a circle radius so it's circle and then what you need to do is the outer um, 
the author name if you click on it you can um, click on the class of the author name typography font size I will go with XS maybe you can make it also a little bit bolder if you want like um, you know font weight if you want it a little bit bolder you can do that and of course um, you can do the same thing to the date let's say uh, the name of the user is too small you can say calculate and multiply this or use you know pixel or whatever you want 1.3 okay it's a little bit bigger and then I want the date I click on the date here click on this class here font size right clicks XS and I will keep the date smaller it's okay and okay great so once done that I need to click on the auto wrapper is the wrapper is the div that is keeping those things together right with the auto wrapper selected you go on activating the class as first thing go on content and then I'm going to change the display to flex and of course you need to make it um, horizontal click on it and then uh, I would add a column gap so right click and you can you know content gap or column gap or XS whatever you want in this way and you're good to go so let me click away and see uh, the preview and yeah looks the looks the same basically of course you need to style it better I made the I just made this one bigger but anyway it's not a problem so now we have the text here to style this text is very very small in this design so I will make it same I will copy this uh, I will sorry I will select the text click on the class go on style typography font size and you can change it to XS or S or M maybe S in this case would be better okay and let's say you want a little bit bigger calculation parentheses multiply 1.3 and as you can see now it's a little bit bigger it's okay and read more you can click on read more and of course um, click on the class here to activate it uh, if you want to add an icon same as this one I think we have it in the library here let me see icon click on here solid and here you go with the with the icon and you know you can basically add the spacing and position right or left whatever you want typography you can uh, change the font size to something smaller okay so yeah so I will keep it standard for now okay so once you've done that we need to add our spacing now and to add the spacing you can click um, on the postcard by clicking on the postcard and clicking on the class here and then uh, go here on row gap you can add a row gap of course or a content gap whatever I usually do the space uh, and you can say okay uh, s for example okay and as you can see everything is spaced evenly something I noticed in the design is that maybe those two elements are, are a little bit closer to each other and if you want those two elements to be a little bit closer you just need to go and um, select the first element like the title the heading right click say you wrap into a div and you can call this text wrapper okay and once named that you have the heading inside of the text wrapper you can also add the outer wrapper inside of it by dragging here under the heading and as you can see now they are close together and let's say I want some some spreading between them text wrapper and then go on style and then go on uh, sorry not style keep on content make sure this is flex make sure it's vertical and then you can add a row gap here and make it a little bit like that XS okay or you can divide this as you wish okay so I, I'm going to keep it like this and now what I need to do is actually adding some padding one moment I have a phone call okay sorry uh, here we are so first of all we need to add also some padding right because the design has some padding here and to do that is very easy um, you need to click on the postcard 4 and then go on style layout padding and I can click this twice and add my padding okay so now we have our padding and let me check this is white so they have a 
dark background i will very quickly do a background now so basically go on section with section selected go on the background and just add like a background right so let's say i'm going to choose background light color and then go postcard for and now you can add a, a background to the postcard right click just go on white and as you can see now we have it now look at the borders on the design the border is rounded so we are going to make it rounded too and border border radius of course you need to choose your radius let's say m and then i would click here to put it on all the sides and we are good to go so now what we can do um, it's to duplicate this. One thing I forgot to say is that we forgot um, to actually add this to um, add the class of this element and um, I will show you how to do it very quickly so if you click BAM as you can see the text wrapper is missing you can click because it's the last thing we added okay so we can click on the plus button and apply and now also the text wrapper has his own styling okay and now the styling of the text wrapper is not actually into the class but is inside of uh, of the item itself right so you need to right click copy the styles okay remove it from here so I removed everything as you can see from the design then click on here and this one is the class that we just created for this uh, wrapper right you just need to do paste styles and look at this everything now is inside of the class okay great so uh, I'm going to duplicate the post now beautiful very quickly you can change the images now like that you can change the avatar in this way of course now everything looks beautiful perfect let's see how it behave on responsiveness looks awesome okay it's a little bit borderline and of course that's not good so uh, how to set up this correctly so you can decide of keeping like this or just say I want like on the tablet portrait I can ask him to be two columns so um, yeah you can it depends on you you can keep it three columns here let's say let's say I go on landscape okay let's start by landscape because tablet is not bad in this way I like it so let's say I'm on land on landscape mobile landscape right click on here uh, grid template column right click Two and voila you have two columns and everything adapts correctly on mobile now it has two columns because we changed it here but we can uh, again change this to one column instead and voila we have our um, our cool uh, card now fully responsive this was pretty easy right and um, also I highly suggest to follow to subscribe to the channel because I will show you also how to make this dynamic based on your post so fetching the image automatically and everything okay guys again you would help me out a lot if you like this video and subscribe to the channel and then I wish you to have a great day and I will see you in the next video thank you very much bye